Hey what's up guys, my name is Avery and today I got a short tutorial on me setting up Python with SQLite. So to do that, first of all if you guys haven't already seen it, go and watch my other SQLite tutorial where you guys can learn the basics and how to create a table and how to query through and how to select items so you guys can just know the SQLite terms. And then along with that we're going to have to install it. So to do that we'll just do pip install by SQLite 3 and as you can see right now it says it was installed successfully so now that we've got that done we're gonna actually need to make our database we'll just make a database that's empty we'll just create a file there's nothing in it we'll just have that there now we're gonna actually jump into our code so we're just gonna do SQL.py and let's go ahead and tell the computer that we're using Python 3.7 so user bin environment python 3.7 now let's actually go ahead and add in the sqlite library so it's going to be right here and we'll just call it as db to make it easier for us and shorter so now once we've got this set up we're going to actually have to connect to that test.db and to do that we'll create a connection and this we'll just call conn and we'll just do db connect and then right here test.db now we've actually opened it up and now we're going to need something called a cursor a cursor is what you use to query through you can select things in it create a table and whatnot so we'll just call it cursor and we'll set it right here it'll be connection cursor so now it links them so now let's go ahead and actually create a table inside this test.db. The simple table we're going to be creating is going to be just a contact list where it's just going to have first and last name, phone number, and email. You guys can go and check out the other video like I said before and I'll explain a little bit more in detail on how all this stuff works. We'll just do an execution. Execute. And then right here it's going to be create table and it's going to be called contacts and set the values oh no sorry and then we'll just label them right here so it's going to be last name it's going to be a text value and then we first name text as well number it'll be an integer and then email it'll be a text as well and now that we've done that it's going to actually create this table let's go ahead and actually run and add something into the table first before we run it so we'll just do cur.execute and it would be insert into contacts values and then we can just add them so the first last name we can put mine and we also need to be able to save it so to do that it will be connection.commit and then we need to close it so connection.close so let's go ahead and actually run the program and see if it works and as you can see it doesn't give any errors, but to double check to make sure it works, we'll just open it up in this little browser right here for the file. Oh. Wrong name. Test.db. You can see right here, browse data. Those are the things that we just inputted in. So let's go ahead and change out the code a little bit so now we don't need to create that anymore so I'll just comment that out and we can actually add something else so I'll just change this right here to just random name change that number right there let's add that as well and now along with that what if you want to be able to search for this data you want to find something you want to figure out everyone on the list that has the name last name Jones everyone that has 
an email from Gmail, you need to filter through this. In the other video, it explains it a little bit more in detail. But to do that, we're just going to have to do cur the cursor, and then execute. And then it's just going to be like this. Select, and then an asterisk for all. So it doesn't matter where it's searching it from. And then from contacts, where? And then we'll just do uh, F first name equals, I'm gonna set that as a question mark. So here we'll have a query, we'll define it up here. So the query will be what we're looking for. So we can set that to that. And now we want to actually print out the results. So let's do print, and then it'll be cursor and fetch all. Now it's going to print out what we've looked up. So now let's just run that right here. You can see there's an error. Let's select this all wrong. Let's go ahead and fix that really quick. And as you can see, it pulled up the database and it looked for the first name that had this in the name. So if we were to look for something that had something more repetitive, such as, comment this out, we'll do the last name that reads since there's two of them, and then change on the last name, and now it's going to pop up both of them right here. So we pop this one. I'm just going to do that one. This one's in there twice because I ran the program twice. And say you want to do something more than just once. Say you want to get some more stuff specifically. So for example, let's just add something else in there that's going to be the same. Right here. Just check that the one the bobs. Now we're going to check for the last name read and then also the number 313. Do that. We're just going to set this right here. And number equals that. And as you can see, its last name is that, number is that, and it's done it for all of those ones. It's, it also didn't pull up my name because my name had a different number. So that's just a really simple way on how to set up SQLite with your Python program. There's a lot more things you can do with it. I'll have some links in the description where you can learn more about it. And if you have just more SQLite um, questions in general, check out my other video. It goes more in detail on more commands you can use and other ways you can search through your data. But I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. If you guys are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. I have other videos similar to this. Don't forget to like the video. It helps me make more content just like this. And can't wait to see you guys next time. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.